October 13, 2021 Daily Devotion Second Timothy chapter 3 verses 16 to 17. All scripture is breathed out by God and is profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be competent, equipped for every good work. First Chronicles chapter 28 verses 11 to 21. Then David gave Solomon his son the plan of the vestibule of the temple and its houses its treasuries, its upper rooms, and its inner chambers, and of the room for the mercy seat, the plan of all that he had in mind for the courts of the house of the Lord. 
all the surrounding chambers, the treasuries of the house of God, and the treasuries for dedicated gifts, for the division of the priests and of the Levites, and all the work of the service in the house of the Lord, for all the vessels for the service in the house of the Lord, the weight of the gold for the golden vessel for each service, the weight of silver vessel for each service, the weight of the golden lampstand and their lamps, the weight of the gold for each lampstand and its lamps, the weight of a silver for the lampstand and its lamps, according to the use of each lampstand in the service, the weight of the gold for each table for the showbread, the silver for the silver tables, the pure gold for the forks, the basins, and the cups, for the golden bowls and the weight of each, for the silver bowls and the weight of each, for the altar of incense made of refined gold and its weight, also his plan for the golden chariot of the cherubim that spread their wings and covered the ark of the covenant of the Lord. All this he made clear to me in writing from the hand of the Lord all the work to be done according to the plan. Then David said to Solomon his son, Be strong and courageous and do it. Do not be afraid and do not be dismayed, for the Lord God, even my God, is with you. He will not leave you or forsake you until all the work for the service of the house of the Lord is finished. And behold, the divisions of the priests and the Levites for all the service of the house of the Lord. And with you in all the work will be every willing man who has skills for any kind of service. Also, the officers and the people will be holy at your command. A little encouragement. How many times have we been told to read our Bible? We usually start with Genesis and stop somewhere in Numbers. Jubilee Access Brew uses a Bible study material named Bible Study Together. It is a 730 chronological Bible cross-reference reading plan with audio and questions to reflect upon. I am happy to announce that we are on our day 390, a little halfway over to the finish line. Today's reading is an inventory of the plans and materials David prepared for the temple building. It teaches us the importance of orderly planning. Since the readings are quite long, there will be times when the reading becomes like assignment that just have to be finished. Praise God, however, for the times He rewards me with an encouraging word like today. This is a testament that the God's Word are living and active. A few days ago, I was lamenting to my husband that I could not write a requirement for the church newsletter. I felt hopeless. Today's reading brought me so much encouragement. As David planned and advised Solomon about the temple building, the following verse leaped out of the page. David told Solomon his son, Be strong and courageous and do it. Do not be afraid and do not be dismayed, for the Lord God Even my God is with you. He will not leave you or forsake you until all the work for the service of the house of the Lord is finished. It was a verse addressed to me by name today. With that in my heart and with a promise in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 16 to 17 that his words will equip me, I was able to finish my task for the newsletter with so much gladness in my heart. So, the next time you're feeling lazy reading your Bible, press on. Keep on collecting arsenals and equipment for life. I know God will encourage you also, and His words will not return to Him empty, but will accomplish what He desires and achieve the purpose He sends it. Reflections Think of the times God encouraged you or answered you through the Bible and thank Him for those times. Better yet, Write them down as a monument of thanksgiving for His faithfulness. Prayer Dear Heavenly Father, You know what we need before we even ask. Your Word is living and active. It never returns to You empty, but it always accomplishes what You desire. It achieves its purpose as You intend. We lift our hands in awe and thanksgiving. Praise be to You. In Jesus' name, Amen.